right, I don't know the unit number of this one, but I just came out of one and I know I'm going in here and I wanted you to see how many windows were on the back of this home. Not often that I show you the back. So I wanted to start from the back this time since I know I'm going to this house. I love, it's five windows there. Love, love, love all the windows in this home. This home has the two by six side walls and finished sheetrock. So let's go ahead around to the front so you can see what the front looks like. And then we'll get the unit number when we get inside the house, okay? So this is the home that we're getting ready to tour. Again, love all the windows in the back. Let's go in and see what we got. All right. So when you walk in, you've got a foyer. Why am I whispering? <laughs> when you walk in, you've got this foyer area. Love that. So your guests or whoever's at the door isn't looking all in the house. I could totally see a bench there or a nice console table, but more so a bench for my guests to sit and take their shoes off, leave their a space for their shoes. You can actually put a bench and a table there. There's so much space. Really, really nice. And then to the left of the room is your living room. This is what the living room looks like. Fireplace on the other side of these three large windows. You have a mantle above, which I always love because I'm always thinking about decor. And then space for your TV. Very nice. So this is your huge living room. Ceiling fan in the living room. Really pretty. Three large windows over there. And then from the living room, again, there's your front door. You have your kitchen and dining room with those five large windows. So bright and airy. So much space. All of that is your dining room kitchen, you guys. Look at there. You can put a long, huge table. You can sit 10 or 12 people in that space. Great for entertaining. And then from the kitchen, you can see into the dining room and, the, and partially into the living room. I love that it's open, but it's kind of ducked off. I also love the fact that we ha they have the darker, uh, the lighter sheetrock in the living room and then the contrast with the darker um, walls over here. You don't have to get them this color. I think it looks nice with this house. You could, I could also see a gray in here, but I love that. Look at it with the antique cabinets against that wall. So pretty, so, so pretty. Love the island. You have a prep space with your sink, but then there's also a separation for guests that are at the table. I could see three stools here easily. And then you have the lighter cabinets contrasting the darker ones. Very nice. Lots of storage space, room for a, they've got a, this is unit 949, the Cabco unit 949. They've got the ceramic top stove here. Lots of counter space and outlets. Look, I counted one, two, three, four, five, six outlets. So you have lots and lots of space for all your gadgets and appliances, your coffee maker, your cap Nespresso machine, your kettle, whatever you like. Really nice. From the kitchen, oh, let's see the storage space here. So you got two shelves and two cabinets, two shelving, two drawers and two cabinets here. And then while you're cooking, you can communicate with the people in the living room and in the dining room. Really nice, lovely. Now your utility room is off the dining room. You've got your 
back door here, your washer and dryer next to it. Three cabinets above the washer and dryer, which is always, 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 always a plus. The only thing I would do different with these cabinets is put shelving units in it so that I have not just one big cabinet. I need to put storage. You've got this little cubby that would be perfect for uh, a deep freezer. And there's actually an outlet there for your freezer, which we don't always see in the utility room. So really nice. I also see across from there, this cubby that would be also nice for a deep freezer, depending on how big your or wide your freezer is, but an area that we could absolutely do a mud room. So, so many possibilities. Love the square tile in this home. Great use of space already. Perfect. So one more scan of this huge, huge, huge windows. Five of them. Lots of natural light. So down this hall, we'll see what's going on. All right, to the left, we have bedroom number one. Nice size bedroom here. Huge bedroom. This is the size of a master. Very nice. You've got a walk-in closet in this bedroom. Huge walk-in closet. Look how much space is in this. How much floor space? That tells you how big, because I know it doesn't look the same on camera. And then this is your So that's guest bedroom number one. I'll give it another spin when I get over here. All right. And then over here, you've got another huge bedroom. Guest bedroom number two. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love the large closets in here. So nice. So, so, so nice. And then here you have your guest bathroom. Got storage space there, three units. Tub shower combo. You also have the white cabinets in here. Lots of drawers and cabinets and a big mirror. So pretty, really, really nice. All right, so we haven't seen the master. Curious to see that. If, at, with the size of the guest bedrooms, I, I'm excited to see the size of the master. So we'll go back toward the front door because the master is to the right. Oh, that would kill me every time. I just stubbed my toe on that. <laughs> All right, so this is your master. This is also a nice size master. Very nice. I'll come in. You've got two tall windows there and then one over there. So pretty, really nice. All right, here's your master closet. Love all the shelves in here. And I love the space here for shoes, purses, whatever you need. You got one, two, three, four, five, six cubby holes. So that's awesome. If it was my husband's space, he'd be stacking up drills and all kind of stuff in there. So this would be my closet. Really nice. We could probably share it as big as it is, but I probably want it to be mine. All right, over here, you've got your master bath. Again, that darker, the darker walls, the lighter walls are in the bedroom and then the darker walls 
or in the bath. I think that's a nice touch. Love the long counter. Makeup tables in the middle. Love the mirrors. All the lighting in here. Really, really nice. All the storage space. This is awesome. Got your frosted glass over the huge soaker tub. I don't think I ever really look into the tub, so I'll give you a look at what it looks like. Got your shower there with seating. You got a window here that opens, so that's awesome. You've got two windows in here, and your toilet room is over here. Really nice. Really nice. Let's go see how much she costs. All right, this is the Cabco home. The unit is number 949, model KB324. It's a 32 by 70 and it's 1071. Now that base price includes the following items, delivery setup materials, set setup materials, setup, blocking, tie down, central heat and air, concrete block underpinning, and the port concrete footers. It's in Bowden, Georgia, which is close to Alabama. If you need some extras, there are all the extras there. As usual, all the information will be down in the description box to this home and who you can contact if you're interested in coming out and taking a look or if you have questions about the home. They also have a Facebook page that I'll link in the description box with the price, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Have a good day.